Well, good evening, YouTubers. Hi, this is Bob. It's so nice to be back with you. Uh, I know all of you have been waiting for another Messages from the Spirit World, and I've been very, very busy with the holiday season with a lot of reading, so I'm a little behind here, but I appreciate your patience. Well, for those of you who are also um, would like to get a question answered, I will be appearing on the Cree Ingalls radio show called Chillin' with Cree tomorrow night on All Digital Radio Network. And uh, I'll put the information over here in the box. And uh, But come out to the Cree Ingalls show called Chillin' with Cree, and I'll be there as well, and you can get your questions answered, okay? I look forward to talking to you. And if for whatever reason you can't make a decree show, remember, I also have a show on Saturday night, which is live called Messages from the Spirit World. So I'll be uh, on that, and I did a previous video on that, so you can look at that as well, okay? Anyways, we, we got your letters here, and we're going to work on them. But before we begin, give me just a moment, and let me attune to the Spirit World. Okay. Well, Fletcher's here. I hear his voice. He sends his greetings to all of you. Okay. My first uh, message tonight is for Tig CJ. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I need to bring over to you. I've got a, uh, a spirit guide here around you. The name of your guide, his name is Don L. And Don L is asking me to let you know that he's coming to work with you, particularly in the area of emotional healing. And it looks like as we get into January, that energy is going to be lifting around you. And uh, the wonderful thing is, uh, it's around midpoint in January that I see an opportunity opening for you. And it looks like you'll be actually doing some work uh, in the holistic healing area. So I see you being led that direction by your guide, okay? But the new year looks good for you. Thanks for writing. Okay, our next letter is from Hillary Check 363 Hi, Hillary. Good to see you. Um, you know, I'm getting around you some past life information. It's very interesting here. Uh, you were um, around, it was during the uh, late 1700s, and you had a past life in France. And what's interesting is you were a baroness in France, and uh, you, were, um, you were unfortunately killed during the, during the revolution. But anyways, you're back here, and uh, you're going to live a long life this time, okay? So, now, I see you um, being involved in performing arts here, and I feel in 2009, you'll be um, doing a lot more creative stuff, because there's a lot of creative energy around you right now. And I, I want you to um, to do something in the, in the fields of acting, performing arts, drama, public speaking, something in that area, because that's where your strong points lie, okay? But um, I see that for you in 2009. Thanks so much. Okay. Our next letter is from Lightweight69. Hi. Thank you for, for writing to me. Um, I need to bring around you. I, um, I do get a spirit here. Um, I want to place this uh, as a mother here. You do have a mother that comes around you. Okay. Uh, and I keep hearing, she says, let him know that I'm okay and that I'm at peace. Okay. Now, um, I pick up around, I don't know if you're aware of this, at the time across there was an issue in the chest area here. Uh, and it feels like it seems to interfere with the breathing or something like that. But she says she's not having that anymore, okay? But she's at peace with you. And uh, she wants you to know that um, she comes around you a lot. And I keep seeing her also uh, visiting. Every afternoon she's in your house. And it's funny because... Uh, I keep hearing her pacing back and forth like she's in the kitchen, like she's rearranging the kitchen. So you might want to go in and look at the kitchen here, because I think she was real particular about her kitchen, and she's kind of uh, getting into your kitchen, okay? But anyway, she's with you. She has me to tell you she loves you. Thanks for writing. Okay. Drew Barron, hi. Um, you know, I'm picking up around you. Um, there's an issue that's related to the nervous system. Okay, and I want you to have your doctors do tests for the nervous system because I feel that there's some sort of issue here um, around you. I, I don't know what that exactly is, to be honest with you, but I pick up something where there's a short firing in the nerves. It's kind of like, uh, you know, something, uh, you may have like kind of periodic numbness in the body or something like that, but that's something that they want to look at. Tell them to look at the nervous system. Um, and they'll be able to fix the situation. I don't see this being debilitating, but I do see that it may need some attention, okay? Okay, thanks for writing. Okay, uh, Dar, Dar Relief, hi, thank you for your letter. 
Uh, you know, I'm um, picking up around you an issue here. I want you to have um, your doctors look at the, uh, the glandular system, particularly the endocrine system, because I feel like there's some sort of chemical imbalance that's being generated through the endocrine system, okay? Um, and I also want them to check in the pancreas, because I feel that there could be an issue related to the blood sugar um, and how it's being processed in the body. But I think if they focus on that area, they'll get you sorted out, okay? But anyways, you're here for a long time. Don't worry. It's not time for you to go. But, uh, yeah, once they get that sorted out, things are going to be a little better for you, okay? But work with your doctor on that, okay, and send them in that direction. Thanks for writing. Okay, our next letter is for uh, keys to the VIP. Hi. Um, well, regarding your question about 2012, um, no, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, world's going to go on into 20, you know, 13 and on and on. It's not the end of the world. But what we are going to see at 2012 is an elevation in consciousness. And I think we're going to see a lot more people that are feeling uh, more tuned, more tuned to spirit. We're going to see a greater openness to things spiritual during that time. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to kind of be an ascension period during that time. And uh, But is the end of the world? No. No. Okay? Thanks for writing. Okay. Um, our next letter here is for Ohio Buckeye. Hi. Um, well, first of all, yeah, um, to answer your question about travel, yeah, go ahead and travel. Uh, I see you going on the, the 20th of December, uh, and it looks like you're going up to uh, Michigan. Yeah. Now, the thing that they want to watch out, though, and I'm not trying to scare you here, but have um, somebody look at the... the uh, the coolant on the car, the uh, antifreeze, because I'm worried that there's there's not enough antifreeze or there's a leak of some sort, and I'm afraid you could get into problems in the engine area. Now, I don't see you breaking down, but have that looked at before you go, and carry some extra antifreeze with you, okay? But it does look like it'll be a productive trip, and I see you having a wonderful time, okay? No dangers there for you, okay? Thanks so much. Okay. Um, and my last letter tonight is for Nikki and Kim. Hi. Um, I do pick up here somebody around you. I want to place this um, as a father energy here around you. Uh, and yes, your father is present here for you. Um, and he died. It, uh, it was toxins in the body. Now, it wasn't a suicide and it wasn't a murder. It was an accidental overdose. Uh, and he keeps saying, he says, he said he couldn't measure the amount of toxins in the body. So there was something around that that was doing it to him. Um, but he's, he's, he's at the other side and he's at peace and he wants you to be at peace as well. Okay. And, uh, he keeps talking to me about telling you about going on to school. Okay. And I believe in the next year you'll be doing some schooling. Um, and I see you working with healing and healing work. And I feel like he wants you to kind of go on to that, okay? But he's here, and he says, so he says, just let her know I love her, and I'm so sorry about the way I left. But he said it wasn't, it was not suicide, it was an accidental, um, it was like an overdose of toxins, poisoning, it was like medicine in the body, okay? But anyways, he's on the other side, yeah. But he comes around you also, um, each night, okay? So he looks in on you, so you're not, uh, you're not forgotten to him. But just talk to him because he can hear you, okay? Thanks for writing. I'm so sorry for your loss. God bless you. Well, YouTubers, I'm afraid that's all we're going to have time for tonight. But I appreciate all of you watching and uh, all your letters. They're wonderful. We're going to just keep working on them. And we each week we'll get a little more done for you, okay? But anyways, remember I'll also be on the Kringle Show tomorrow night. Um, on Chillin' with Cree on all digital radio networks at, uh, I believe that's 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's like 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's in the U.S. And um, anyways, do uh, do check it out and also come out to my radio show on Saturday night as well. And I'll answer more of your messages, okay? Anyways, I look forward to being in touch. And next week we'll bring you more messages from the spirit world. <laughs>